Harmy, it would be rude not to start anywhere else but that hat trick. What a moment that was. Yeah, I think um, after the way I bowled in the first game in the first over, um, it was nice to get off to a better start. Um, I've been in that situation a few times in my career and um, you never quite believe that it's going to happen. So quite nice for it to happen, first one. Um, and yeah, three big wickets for us. I think it was an important game for us after beating Gloucester the other night. So uh, lots of games back to back and hopefully we can build some momentum. Well, yeah, and you say three big wickets. The, the reaction said it all, but uh, as well as the hat-trick, that was, there were three crucial wickets at the top of the order in quite a, a tight looking run chase at that time. Yeah, I think it was quite a tricky wicket um, and we knew it was going to be a niggly run chase so we needed to bowl well. I think we got off to a really good start getting uh, Rav early um, and then yeah, I think if you get a team fall down in the power play they, they always struggling to come back but I think it's very easy for for you to kind of um, get complacent and things that just think that things are just going to happen so um, nice for us to see at home and, and get a good win down at Sussex. Yeah, and in the field, it, it did feel like one of those nights where everything went to plan, as you mentioned, getting Ravi in the first over and Critchley and Lawrence, Lawrence making an instant impact. Some brilliant catching as well, that one, uh, Wesley's in particular. Yeah, um, Tommy's taken some spectacular catches. Um, he's, uh, he's been unbelievable for us so far and, and with the bat as well. He plays a difficult role um, down the order for us. He's kind of always got to do the balancing act and... Um, play the situation and he's been unbelievable for us so uh, nice for him to get a couple of catches and some runs and yeah another one on the board. And what was your read at the uh, at the halfway stage? It, it's tricky here because the dimensions are quite unique but but it looked difficult to score when the pace was taken off. Yeah I, with the start that we had I, I thought we should have got to 180 and um, so I thought we were 20 runs short um, it was just going to depend on whether the wicket sort of slowed down, um, which it did end up doing, and, and started turning. So um, I think Asim has bowled um, really well to sort of play to the conditions, take pace off. Um, so yeah, very happy with the, the outing tonight. And with the bat, it feels like there are more options than ever. Dan coming back tonight as well to add even more quality. It's obviously difficult when it comes to team selection, but in a jam-packed group stage, that depth it's going to prove really crucial. Absolutely. Um, I think tough decision to move Dassey from three after scoring a 50 the other night down to six tonight. Um, but it shows his class that he could adapt and, and get runs down the order. So um, we do have a lot of options. And then, as you said, depth is going to help us as the to tournament goes on. Uh, we don't know how, we're going to ha uh, how long we're going to have Dan Lawrence for. So um, make hay while the sun shines. And then, yeah, plenty of opportunities for guys uh, through the tournament. And two wins from two. Other teams obviously got a bit of a head start, but with games coming thick and fast, the message to the lads must be just to keep them going now. Yeah, I think um, T20 cricket's about momentum, and when you've got so many games um, so quickly, I think you've just got to take one day at a time. You can't uh, get too comfortable and think that you're just going to rock up and win. So I think the challenge to the squad is to make sure that we reset every game um, and we're making sure that we're trying to put on our best show every time we go out there.